My name is Martin Tobin. I'm a public health doctor and a research scientist at the University of Leicester. The research project I'm working on at the moment is on the genetics of lung health and lung disease. We can see that that's really well localised. So in this research, we're aiming to study genetic variants across the whole of the human genome and to relate these to differences in lung health between individuals. And the reason that that's relevant is that we think some of those variants that are associated with lung health are also likely to be associated with lung disease, more specifically the disease that we call chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, or COPD. We know that smoking is strongly associated with COPD, but not all smokers seem to be equally at risk, so that illustrates that there are aspects of the disease that we don't yet fully understand. By undertaking these kinds of genetic studies, we hope that these are going to point us to particular molecular pathways or to molecules in the human body that we can then target with new drugs. The most exciting parts of the project for me have been working with the team of scientists who have made a study of this scale and of this power possible. We were able to study over 48,000 individuals with lung health measurements and the fact that we've been able to study two and a half million genetic variants across the whole of the human genome. And this gives us tremendous power to be able to detect those variants that influence lung health and more importantly, those variants that may be involved in lung disease. What we've defined so far have been over 20 genetic variants in independent parts of the human genome that are associated with lung function. We've already shown that seven or eight of these are associated with chronic obstructive pulmonary disease and it's likely that that number will grow as scientists bring together larger numbers of COPD cases to study. So we know that about their role in disease, but for some of these regions in the human genome, we know very little about how they're actually influencing disease. And that's going to be a great area, not only for us, but for scientists across the UK and internationally to study, because understanding those mechanisms of disease is likely to be the key for the development of new treatments and also understanding which patients might respond more effectively to any particular treatment.